Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another NBA Supercard video on the channel and today we have some rewards to open for you guys and we also have to talk about the brand new event card that was revealed. Obviously we got Court Domination and Gauntlet coming for the next two weeks with the same event card and then we got a Flash event coming in a couple weeks so super hype about that. The end of Amethyst tier is already almost here. It's unbelievable. We should be seeing Diamond tier in about four weeks three and a half weeks something like that unbelievable how fast it is coming um but we yeah, got a ton of stuff to talk about in this video but before we get into the rest of the video guys make sure you guys drop a like down below and subscribe with no on if you guys have been enjoying the vids and you do not want to miss any coming out in the future but without further ado let's go ahead and get right into it yeah we got some rewards to go ahead and claim and also like i said we'll go over the new event card which it's Skylar Diggins Smith, obviously. You probably saw that in the thumbnail or the title. And uh, let's go ahead and get into these. We'll start off um, with the quest rewards. Obviously, we got the Blake Griffin quest um, yesterday. And I made a video going over that. Check out that video yesterday if you have not already. But we'll go ahead and get into these rewards. We got our 15 draft picks right here. Not too bad for going ahead and charging your cards if you need to do that for Team Battleground. We got five extra tickets. Always good. Hopefully, we can get those tickets up by the end of the tier. We got these, which is a support. Support, Ruby support, that's not too bad, it's not an Amethyst support, but we don't really need Amethyst support, I believe I still need Ruby rebounding for the collection, I'm not exactly sure, I pulled a lot of Ruby fusions, but I cannot get rebounding, um, but yeah, so next up, we got the card back right here, which is okay, I don't really like that shade of red, but it's a solid card back, I'll take it for the collection, we got the Blake Griffin starter card right here, Super hype about that really really nice card really good image And I'm definitely gonna go ahead and train him up and throw him into the collection that I have another star in the catalog And then we got this one which is obviously two sapphire two amethyst players Hopefully we can pull top tier card man. I believe last week we pulled a top tier card. Did we I think last week we got one I don't exactly remember. I know in the store pack that was in the store for free I know we didn't pull one, but I think we pulled one out of the actual quest reward So let's see if we can get it right here Come on, baby. Give me an Amethyst. Two rubies. No Amethyst, sadly. Auto Porter and Mitchell Robinson. Hey, that's not too bad. Auto Porter will be a pro, which is sick because he is actually in the court domination coming in later this week. So that's not too bad at all. And those are both singles. So I will definitely take it. Two extra stars in the catalog. Never can complain about that. But yeah, we also got our login rewards today. We got a guaranteed Amethyst right here. We also got some credits, a Ruby, and an Amethyst support. Starting off, we got our Sapphire, which is Derek Rose. That is a pro, which is really nice. Another star in the catalog. Always love that. We got some credits, 50 credits. I will take it. Free credits is free credits. That's all you can say about that. We got a Ruby. Can I get another star? M. Fournier, no new star. We actually already have him pro Next up, we got the Amethyst support. I really don't know what I want here. I wouldn't be too mad. We get 25 picks, though, which is sick. And then a defensive support. I don't really care for that too much. But now we got our guaranteed Amethyst player. I'm hoping we can get a pro out of here. That would definitely help out our gauntlet deck and our core domination deck right now. I believe we have eight pros. But let's, get, let's see if we can get this. Let's see if we can get a pro right here. Come on. DeAndre Ayton. Is that... That's a pro because he was in the... Uh, that's an F1. Oh, my gosh. There's no way I just got an F1 DeAndre Jordan. Oh my god. Wow. That is unlucky, man. That is unlucky. I completely forgot I already proed him. I'm like, yeah, he was in the court domination a couple weeks ago. But no, we actually already already have him. So that's not super useful to us, but it is a single, so it is what it is. He's a cool card. He's pretty mid-tier, so it's fine, I guess. Um... It is what it is. If we can pro him, I'd be happy about that. I think I'm on about 80 resets right now, so I might get a reset later tonight. Not sure. I still need to grind for those heat collectibles because that does expire in three and a half days, which is 18 hours. Is that 18 hours? I believe is just 1 p.m. or 12 p.m. PST tomorrow is 18 hours. And then three days from tomorrow, which is... Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so Saturday does it expire? I believe it expires Saturday. So I'll definitely have some time to go ahead and earn some of those heat collectibles. So I'll try my hardest to go ahead and get another one of those. Hopefully we can get it pro, but let's go ahead and claim our free pack right here. And we get a silver. Obviously nothing special right there. 
Plus some cool rewards. Not too bad at all. I'm pretty hype about that. Um, DeAndre Ayton's a cool pull. Nothing crazy. And out of the quest rewards, we got two rubies. And they were both new stars of the catalog. So that's definitely not too bad. Did I already have some of them? Uh, yeah, so I already had Mitchell Robinson. And then I'm going to go ahead and just pro Derrick Rose right now. Just because I'm not going to be... I don't want to train him up. I don't really care. And I just want that star in the catalog. Sick stuff right there. Really happy about that. But let's go ahead and go check out the brand new Skylar Diggins Smith event card. Alright, so as you guys can see, here is the brand new Skylar Diggins Smith event card. Four-time All-Star Skylar Diggins Smith featured in the next two events. This week's theme is NBA and WNBA players drafted in the 2013 draft, including Oladipo and Ruby Otto Porter, like I said. So we're going to be seeing them in this, uh, this core domination, obviously. If I had to make a guess who else would be coming, I'd have to take a look in the collection. Uh, maybe Sapphire wise, I believe Drummond was 2013, but I don't think he has a Sapphire. Um, another guy from 2013, I believe Buddy Heald was 2013, I believe. Um, was CJ McCollum 2013? I think so. Um, who else was 2013? Um, not Gordon Hayward, not IT. Uh, yeah, not a ton of guys. Maybe Jordan, I think Jordan Clarkson was, maybe he was 2015. One of those years, uh, but yeah. There are some sick cards coming out. There's some sick cards coming out. Vo is sadly not a pro for me, but he's definitely going to be higher up in the tier, especially with him doing pretty well on the heat right now. And then Skylar Diggins Smith looks good. I believe she beats Steve Nash in every stat, except she's minus one on rebounding. So she looks sick, man. But I believe, isn't... They aren't Dirk and Steve Nash both up arrows as well? Uh, let me double check that. I believe Dirk and Steve Nash are both up arrows. Let me just check that for you guys real quick. And yeah, so we got three up arrow event cards so far. A little bit crazy, but she obviously already had an amethyst, so she's going to have a different image, which is super cool. I was kind of hoping for a Candace Parker, but Skylar Diggins-Smith is perfectly fine. And uh, we're getting some sick cards in the lower tier, obviously. And... Uh, not really much to complain about just basic stuff here with the core domination coming out should be a relatively simple grind to go ahead and get her and then the gauntlet obviously next week is gonna be a little bit more of a grind and a little bit more of a, a sucky grind but it is what it is and then after that we got the flash event and then the end of the tier which is crazy that we're already almost to the end of the tier it feels like literally like a week ago that this tier started but we're on to the third event card i remember in ruby tier we thought this was the final event card so that's kind of crazy that this this is the tier is literally almost over which is unbelievable to me but yeah guys that is pretty much it we claimed our calendar and our quest rewards and we talked about skylar diggins smith and her brand new event card coming out along with some of the undercards coming with court domination this thursday obviously i will be making a video tomorrow going over the preview of court domination once it is actually in the game but yeah guys that is going to be the video i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to drop a like down below and subscribe but with no on but yeah i'll see you boys in the next one peace out